Hi, I'm Trisha from Club Scrap. Do you want to see some pictures of the kids? You know, I love these little Jacob's Ladders. Remember playing with these when you were little? I've never been able to figure out what makes them work, but I figured out how to make one, and I'm gonna show you how. The supplies for today's project come from Club Scrap's Jacob's Ladder Kit, and that includes 12 three and a quarter inch mat boards with 12 corresponding three inch papers, and then all of that fits inside a cute little craft box for storage and the ribbons that you need to make your Jacob's Ladder. Now I've gone ahead and I've taken the pieces of mat board and the corresponding papers, I've edged them all with some brown ink, and then attached the decorative papers to each mat board, just on the one side. Now I'm going to divide my squares into two piles of six pieces each. The first pile of six cards has nothing on the back, but the other pile has some guidelines, and these are really going to be important to us, so let me show you how to make those. I'm going to lay three pieces of mat board in a row, so when you're at home making this, grab a ruler, use the edge of your ruler to kind of line them up, this is a time-saving trick too by the way, and then lay your ruler one half inch up from the bottom edge of those three squares and make a guideline. Then you're going to move the ruler to the top, realign your pieces of mat board, and then make another guideline a half inch down from this edge. Finally, you'll make another guideline right across the center. In this case, that's at one and five eighths inches, but don't worry about those measurements, they'll be in the design guide. And again, you're gonna do that with six of the pieces of mat board. Now let's stack these up, and then we're gonna make two piles, one that's unmarked, and one that's marked. Now remember that all of the other sides of these pieces of mat board have been decorated. Okay, so we're gonna start out with one of our marked pieces. And we have some ribbons. These are grow grain ribbons that are cut in 40 inch lengths. Now I have some book binding glue here from Club Scrap. It's a great little product to use for this project. And I'm just going to put a real gentle application. I'm squeezing ever so slightly to apply a very thin amount of glue to those three guidelines. Next, I'm going to take a piece of this ribbon and attach it to this bottom glue line so that the ribbon trails off to the right. I'll take another ribbon and attach it to the upper guideline, and the ribbon will once again trail off to your right. Finally, I'm going to take the third piece of ribbon, attach it to the glue on the center guideline, and in this case, the ribbon needs to trail to the left. Now this project is really all about the ribbons. So just pay attention here and you're gonna make a beautiful Jacob's Ladder. Next, I'm just going to apply some swirls of glue, somewhat generous, because I have an uneven surface here. And notice this was an unmarked piece of mat board and I'm gonna make a little sandwich with the ribbons inside. Now I'm gonna put firm downward pressure on here, but when this project is completely done, you might wanna put it under something heavy and wait for it to dry. Now this mat board is in place. Without moving this square anywhere, I'm going to reverse the direction of those ribbons. So the center ribbon now trailing to the right, the lower and upper ribbons now trailing to the left. Now at some point it might be kind of handy to get an extra pair of hands into the scene, but I think I can manage okay. During this stage of the game, we will not be gluing these ribbons in place. We are going to attach another square mat board that has been marked on top of the ribbons. If you do put glue in between those two pieces, you'll have a really attractive coaster. Next, because we have the guidelines that reminds us, this is where the ribbons need to be placed. So I'm just gonna show this step one more time. We're adding our glue to the guidelines and we're gonna change the direction of the ribbon once again. This will trail now to the right. The top one will go to the right and the center will be flipped over to the left. Okay, now at this point, you can just make fine-tuning adjustments to your project, make sure the ribbons are nice and straight, and then we're going to apply glue to this piece again, an unmarked piece, and make our little ribbon sandwich. Then you flip the direction one more time, and you continue that until you have no more marked pieces left and only one last single piece left. So I'm, I've already prepared that step. So this is what it looks like when you've applied all of the marked pieces and you've continued to flip the ribbons back and forth and you have this one piece of unmarked mat board remaining. At this stage of the game, you just come in with the scissors and you trim off the ribbon ends so that these are tucked away. And then we'll apply glue to the back side of this piece and attach it and your Jacob's Ladder will be complete. Now the fun part is being able to test it out. So when you open it up, there's your Jacob's Ladder 
and then you can just work it. Now the more you use your Jacob's Ladder, the better these little interlocking pieces are going to be flipping. So this is really a fun project. Now keep this in mind, don't do what I did. My very first Jacob's Ladder, I decorated it horizontally. But when you show it, you do it vertically. So just keep in mind that when you apply pictures to these panels, you want to do it in a vertical way. What I've done here is I've attached some adhesive to the back of my photo. I've trimmed my photo to two and three quarter inches square. And never put your photo on on top of these ribbons or it will prevent the book from working. Slide it beneath the ribbons and the adhesive isn't going to really stick until I push it firmly into place. And now my photo is in place on the Jacob's Ladder. And then they fold right up and store in this darling little craft paper box here. It fits perfectly right inside. And the kit also comes with some decorative papers for the top. I've also added a little bit of sepia ink and matted it with black. And then maybe you can take a fun little stamp. I'm just going to ink this with that same sepia ink. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the lip of the box cover with this image. Okay, there I have an adorable little box. And now your Jacob's Ladder is complete. Let's take a walk over to the ladder and I'll show you some other great projects. So here's our finished book with the pictures all inside. And you'll notice I cropped these pictures rather carefully considering the positioning of the ribbons inside the book. And we also have a couple of other different sizes. Over here we have this cute little 4x6 format, which is perfect for full-size photos. And then from the medium all the way to the teeny tiny little box, this one gives you a great opportunity to give as a nice greeting card for someone. In fact, this one has been filled with floral photos and then fortunes from fortune cookies. Isn't that adorable? Well, now that you know the secret to the Jacob's Ladder, I'm sure you're going to have a great time making them for your family and friends. I'll see you next time. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.